now I have here Windows 7 client and I'm going to install .NET Framework 4 which you can download at Microsoft website um, I'm just going to install the framework here and then we're going to install the client so I just accept it the license agreement and install it you just have to wait for a few seconds here click on finish when, it, when it's done then we uh, start the app client which you can download also from Microsoft website this is the beta version of the client you accept all the agreements there and start the install now we have finished the app client install we need to uh, set the publishing server so we start PowerShell when we we need to import the app v client module into PowerShell but uh, we need to set the uh, execution policy so I'm just going to show you the error first which comes when you try to install the app v client so the execution of scripts is disabled on the system so you reset the type in the set remote execution policy set execution policy set it to remote signed and type in yes then you try it again and import the app v module then you type in add at the publishing server and type in the name just use the app v server then you use the URL and set the web path there this is the port uh, of the publishing server which is in my case 5037 50, when we have finished adding the publishing server we need to uh, synchronize it but we can check it on the client if we can ac access the publishing server through uh, just Internet Explorer and type in the URL see that it's working so we can try to sync sync the publishing server We have to set the ID of the publishing server, which in, is in this case 1. Type in enter. But in this case, we haven't uh, published any applications, so we need to do that. We can just do it on the client because we've already set the firewall to open it. So just change the port there. Yeah, and you need to set console.html. And of course, if you if you don't have Silverlight, you just have to need to install that. So let's do that.
click on close and refresh the web page then we should be able to see the see the web page now uh, I've already published the Firefox 12 there and I'm going to create a connection group you can see there's no connection group assigned there so we just go to app connection groups add a connection group and name it uh, main office no I'm just gonna use uh, admin applications that's good then I need to set the AD group which is app admins at app .local. check that and select it click on grant access and then we have well, then we need to publish it we need to set the connected packages which is Firefox and we need to publish the application itself let's try to sync it just wait a few moments here Hmm. No Firefox. We should just try to log out and log on again. Maybe it's a bug or something. Don't know. Again, check if this works. No application there. Hmm. Let's go to the management again. Let's see if something's wrong there. <sighs> Sorry about that. console.html and check the we can also start the app v clienter and then we should see a little bit more there oh, just gonna put the app v admins check if that works Grant access close. You can click on check for server updates. Hmm. Nothing happening. Just there. Okay, let's. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's not ready to run. So just try to start it again there. Then we see when it's loading. If we refresh the screen, you can see it's downloading the package have to wait a few moments there okay it's starting now so let's try if this works going to some web page or something like that 
fbit.blogspot.com that's my web page there okay it works quite nice so we should look at the task manager and see where the actual exe is so view select columns and go to command line there click OK there we can see where it starts this is the path for the software so you can just open it and there we can see everything okay now if we try to disable the uh, firewall on the on the server and check if we can get some get some uh, errors in the event viewer just going to show you what happens if we close the part port of the publishing server then we can see okay, there are no there are no errors there so just go to the firewall this is the app v server disable the port there and go to powershell Import the AppV client module. Okay, sync the publishing server. Then we should get an error there. should get an error in the event logs if it if it works okay there's the error you see the 0a 002 ee2 mm. no error errors there that's strange we should get an error in in the even luck. Well, it's just a beta, so you don't have to worry about it. So, start again. Which what we need to do when when uh, this happens is try to tell that the port of the AppV server, which is fifty. Three five seven. Oh, sorry. It's the fifty-three, fifty-five, three seven. So I'm just gonna. Oh, okay, cancel it. Just going to common prompt and do it from there. Tell that MV. You need the need to add the telnet feature through program features it's not on by default you can see it's open so everything's working now